And we are live. It is 7 p.m. in Los Angeles, California. And good morning, Vietnam. It's 9 a.m. in Vietnam. Hi, everyone. I see a lot of familiar names. Let you enjoy the music a little bit. Quý vị khỏe không? Oh, I feel a little better. A little better. Vẫn chưa có là một trăm phần trăm. Chưa có khỏe hết, nhưng mà I feel a little better. Okay. A lot of people have been asking me about this music. It's called Into Space. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have to stop. The, hold on. Stop the music. It's called Into Space, but it is special to the program that I'm using. So you might not be able to find it. Jet lag. That's what I feel. Quý vị biết jet lag là cái gì không? Um, không biết tiếng Việt mình có cái từ nào giống jet lag không? Jet lag là khi mà mình đi uh, mình đi đâu xa đó và cái giờ giấc nó thay đổi nhiều quá mình không có mình mình không có catch up nổi. Um, kêu là jet lag. Uh, nhiều lúc trong nước Mỹ bay từ Cali qua New York người ta cũng bị jet lag hoặc là Florida bay qua Texas cũng bị jet lag và cũng tùy người nữa hồi lúc đó, à, hồi lúc trước đó là bay đi chỗ nào cũng được hết trơn I'm okay I'm okay I don't get tired và khi về lại Mỹ thì mình phải là đi làm liền nên là nó bắt mình là phải bắt buộc là phải you know phải thức giờ đó phải thức nhưng mà lần này đó Because I don't have to get to up to go to work. I don't have to do anything. I'm tired. So I am still jet lagged. Jet lagged. Okay, everybody. If you're watching from the United States, I'd like to see a one. If you're watching from Vietnam, good morning, Vietnam. Give me a two. If you're from Australia, let me see a three. And then anywhere else. Canada, Germany, New Zealand, Japan, anywhere else. Just tell me where you're from. So I see a lot of ones. I see a lot of ones and some twos. I know that most of my audience is from the United States. And then we have uh, a lot of people watching from Vietnam as well. So, all right. Today's lesson is on past tense verbs. Past tense verbs là động từ quá khứ đó. Now, we've already done it. Đã làm rồi. Okay, so verbs that are past tense. Now, we have four rules for regular verbs. Four rules, of course. There are always exceptions to the rule. That means they break the law. They don't make sense. You just have to remember them. All right. Are you ready to learn some? And then, if we have time, I'd love to meet some of you so you can come on video and we can speak a little English. All right? Okay. So here we go. This is rule number one for regular verbs. This is pretty easy. To make past tense with most, most regular verbs, all you have to do is add an ed at the end. Walk becomes walked okay you just add ed at the end ready let's see what happens play becomes played played 
cook becomes cooked. Cooked. So it sounds like a T. Sometimes it sounds like a T. Sometimes it sounds like a D. Stay. Stayed. Stayed. Rain. Rain. This is a difficult word for lots of Vietnamese. I don't know why. Rain becomes rained. Rained. Clean becomes cleaned. I cleaned the kitchen today. I cleaned the kitchen. Want becomes wanted. Wanted. He wanted to go. Start becomes started. Started. Rule number two. If a regular verb ends with the letter E, then all you have to do is add a D. Like the word love. Love ends with an E, so all you have to do is put a D at the end. Loved. Loved. Smile becomes smiled. 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 I think this is a hard word for Vietnamese. Like the word mile, smile, while. Okay. Um, like if you can say the word why, that sound, W H Y, you can make the sound why. Thì khi mà quý vị nói cái chữ wild, W I L D, you say wild, okay, smiled, smiled. Like becomes liked, liked. Care, because it ends with an E, add a D, becomes cared, cared. He cared for her. Lie becomes lied. Lied. He lied to me. Not loud. He lied to me. Bake becomes baked. Baked. Sounds like a T. Baked. Rule number three. Okay, now it's getting a little bit trickier. If the regular verb ends in a consonant, consonant la fu um, if it ends in a consonant and y, then you remove the y and you add i e d. That's a lot to remember. Okay, so the word cry becomes cried cried but when you write it okay you remove the y and you add i e d cried yeah. dry becomes dried dried someone is saying it's very difficult to pronounce e d after the verb the, you know why that's difficult because most Vietnamese love to drop the ending sound. Whether it's past tense or not, even if it's a normal word like six, they always drop the ending sound. But past tense is all about the last sound. So if you drop it, you're mispronouncing the word. Fry, fried. Okay, so remember, if it ends in a consonant and the letter Y, get rid of the Y and add I-E-D. Try, 
tried tried อืม tried Mary becomes married 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 so a lot of uh, Vietnamese may say oh he married her married he married her married her okay you have to have the d if he already did it he married her okay it's all about the last sound study studied studied if you said if you use the sentence i study all night long okay thì vì người việt mình hay hay bỏ quên cái 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 sound cái cái âm ở sau đó if you say i study all night long that means you normally do you always do còn nếu mà quý vị muốn muốn nói cho người ta biết là là hôm qua đó là quý vị là study all night Okay, mình học bài cả cả nguyên đêm hôm đó. You have to say studied. I studied all night. I studied all night. Okay. Studied all night. Worry. Worried. Worried. So same thing. A lot of Vietnamese say, Oh, I was so worried. No, I was so worried, worried, okay? I was so worried, okay? I know that you're t you're asking about when to say T and when to say D. We'll go through it again, and you'll be able to see a lot of the similarities. And sometimes there are exceptions, so you just have to remember. Okay, rule number four. If the regular verb ends in a single vowel, là một cái nguyên âm, and a single consonant, một cái phụ âm, like the word stop, O-P, then what you have to do is you have to double the consonant and then add E-D. You see how I did that? The orange letter, you double the consonant and add ed. Okay. Clap becomes clapped. Clapped. Plan, plan becomes planned. Planned. For example, here's a sentence where if you don't make that sound it's a different meaning okay if you say i plan to go i plan to go là tôi tính đi mm. but let's say you didn't make it you're like well i planned to go i planned yeah, plan to go that means you had planned you did plan Okay, planned. Rip. Ripped. Ripped. Mop becomes mopped. Right? You double the consonant, add ed. Then there are exceptions. So they don't follow the rules. Like run. You don't say runned, you say ran. He ran away. Make becomes made. Okay, it's not maked, it's made. Win becomes won. Okay, it's not wind, it's won. He won the lottery. Spit becomes spat, spit, spat. Sleep becomes slept. So remember, these are exceptions. There are other ones too. 
exceptions to the rule. Okay, let's test your knowledge. Okay? So before I give you the answer, I want to know what you think. Jump to make that past tense. What do you do? You add ed, it becomes jumped. Jumped. Cry. You remove the y, add ied. Cried. Cried. She cried when he left. She cried. Carry. Carry ends in Y. Hmm. Remove the Y, add IED. Carried. Carried. He carried her over the threshold. Hmm. Shove. Shove the soda. You shove somebody. Shove. What do you do with shoved? Oh, shoved. You just add a D. Why? Because it already ends in an E. So you just add a D. Shoved. Shoved. Chop. What do you do? It ends in an O and a P. You doubled the consonant. Add ED. Chopped. Chopped. Order. This is easy. I ordered a lot of food. I ordered a lot of food. Fly. Oh. What do you do with fly? I'm trying to trick you. I'm trying to trick you. What do you do with fly? Fly is one of those words that doesn't follow the rule. It's not flied. It's flew. Flew. The bird flew overhead. It flew. Flew. Here's another one. Draw. What do you do with draw? Draw. This is another one. It doesn't follow the rules. It becomes drew. Okay? Drew, not drawed. Drawed. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of little kids, right, when they're learning to speak, they would say drawed. Okay. So that is our... Are four rules. Um, okay, I'm going to go through it again, and we're going to see if we can see some of the similarities for how to pronounce something. Go back, 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 back. We're going back. We're reversing. Going back in time. There we go. Rule number one. So most of your verbs, all you do is add ed, okay? Play, played, played. Okay, so that one sounds like a d, played, cooked. That sounds like a t, cooked, cooked. Hmm. Played, cooked. Stayed, no, oh, stayed. Rained, rained. You can see that most of the time it'll sound like a D, cleaned. Okay, most of the time it sounds like a D. Words like wanted, because it's, it already ends in a T. Well, you can't put another T at the end. You can't, you can't say want, right? So it becomes wanted. Same thing with the word start. It ends in a T. 
so the way you pronounce it, you want you're gonna hear started. Okay. Um cooked. It ends in that C sound, cooked. So it sounds like a T at the end, cooked. Other words where it sounds like a T would be baked. Baked. Okay. After a while, you should get used to it. Most words, you add ed, and then it sounds like a d. Stayed, rained, cleaned, wanted, started. And then, of course, with words that end in an e and you add d, then it's going to sound like a d. Loved, smiled. Light. Light sounds like a T. So do you see a similarity yet? Words that have the K, K, okay, that ends with a K, that sound, K. Light. Baked. Cooked. Sounds like a T. Most other words will sound like a D. Cared. Lied. Baked. Sounds like a T. For words that end with a Y, remember we remove the Y, add I-E-D. So when you add I-E-D, it's going to sound like a D. Dried. Fried. Tried. Married, studied, okay? worried, all sounds like a D. Here, when you have to double the consonant, add ED, stop, okay, stopped, sounds like a T, stopped, clapped. Sounds like a T. Planned. Sounds like a D. Ripped. Mopped. And of course, our exceptions. Exceptions, you just have to know. You just have to know. Jumped. Jumped. Sounds like a T. Pride. Carried, okay. shoved, chopped, sounds like a T, chopped, mopped, stopped, those all sound like a T, ordered, okay, flew, drew. That's just part of vocabulary when you know your vocabulary. Then you'll know the exceptions to the rule. Okay. Who is brave enough to come on and, um, and talk to me? If you have any questions, okay, if you have any questions about English, I can help you with. Just a reminder... You have to turn down the volume or turn off your YouTube if you come on camera with me, okay? So here is, there is, I just posted the link, okay? So I posted this link. So if you want to come on, you have to click on that link. You're going to have to turn on your camera, all right? And, um... And then we'll talk and we can hear. Um, okay. I'm going to see some of your comments. Go, Lina, oi. Go, yai, gan, dong, tu, di. Go. Well, that's that's what we're we're doing. Verbs. Okay, verbs, la, dong, tu. And today we're talking about past tense, la, dong, tu, gua, ku. Because you're right. Uh, Vietnamese, we don't have past tense. Right? We don't have past tense. 
Um, Minh Châu very. We always say the word đã là khi mà mình đã làm rồi đó. Nó thành nó thành là quá khứ nhưng mà mình không có có cái. We don't change our words. We add words, right? That's why it's very difficult. But you have to remember to always pronounce the ending sound. That's very, very important. Um, okay, here's a question. Uh, cô ơi, cô giúp con um, cách đọc sort với là short. Sort. Sort. S sound. Sort. Là nhớ như chữ X của Việt Nam đó. Like ông xã. Sort. Sort. Còn short, S-H, short, là sung sướng, okay? Short, short. Okay. Uh, I see Quinn Chi, nhưng mà I don't see your microphone and I don't see your, oh, there's there she is. Okay. Are you guys ready to meet our first guest tonight? Uh, unmute your mic, Nia. Quinty, I'm going to put you on. I, I need you to unmute your mic. Oh, Hi. hello. Hello, Miss Lena. Hi. How what's are your... you? Good. I'm great. Uh, what's your name? How old are you? I'm 11 years old. I'm Chi. T or Chi? Chi? Chi. Uh, and where are you? I'm from Vietnam. Uh, what city in Vietnam? Mm, I'm from Ninh Minh City, Vietnam. You're from where? What city? Ninh Minh City. Ah, I see. Okay. And uh, how long have you been learning English? Mm, since I was... Six years old. Since you were six. Your pronunciation is very good. Thank uh, you. Quý vị để ý khi em nói, em nói cái chữ since. Since. Okay, this word right here. So many Vietnamese pronounce this wrong. Cái chữ since. Okay. Since. Người Việt mình hay nói là sin. Because they forget the ending sound. Okay. Since, since, very good. Uh, is that a fan that you have on? Yes. Uh, why do you have a fan on? Because it's very hot in Vietnam and I have to turn on the fan so I won't get hot. Right, it's very hot in Vietnam. I was just in Vietnam um, a couple of weeks ago, I was da out in Dong Ha. Do you know where that is? Uh, is it in the central? Yes, it's in central Vietnam, okay, in Quang Tri province. And it was so, so hot. I think hotter than Saigon for sure. Um, but you're beautiful and... Uh, Congratulations on your English. Uh, you you speak very well. Thank uh, you if very you much. want, if you want an American accent, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute your mic for a second because the fan makes a lot of noise. Okay, her fan makes a lot of noise. Uh, but T, if you want an American accent, one thing that you can do to really improve the American accent is when you say words like city, okay, thành phố, city. Um, in Vietnam, you learn uh, English, like the British English, where you say city, uh, water, okay. If you want an American accent, turn the sound into a D sound. So say city, okay, instead of city. Okay, so say, say city. City. Yeah, city, right? Um, uh, how do you say kitty? Nước, nói sao? Water. 
Water, very good. Yeah, I'm gonna do this so we can see. Water, right? So a D sound. So try that, and, and, and that is the American accent. That's just one of, oh, there are several ways to improve an American accent, but that is one of the major ones, is not to say city, not to say wa water, but to say water, city, city, bottle, water, bottle, bottle. Yes, very good. Remember the when you say the word bottle, okay, bottle. I'm gonna put it up on the screen so people can see it. Bottle, okay. Bottle. Mm -hmm. So make it a D sound, so don't say bottle. And make sure you have the L at the end, okay? Bottle. Bottle. Yeah, bottle. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. 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 Yeah, so it's a D sound, yeah? Water. Water. Yeah, a bottle of water. A bottle of water. Yeah, very good. So all you have to do is keep practicing that and uh, you'll, you'll get that American accent. Okay? Okay. Thank you you look much, much, you look much, do you have makeup on? No. Are you wearing, no, you don't? Wow, yeah. look at, you're beautiful. I gotta see this closer, let me see. Wow, you're so beautiful. Thank you look you. like you have makeup on. You're very cute. Yeah. But you look great. Okay, G, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, bye. bye. She's so cute. Bottle, a bottle of water. Um, someone asked about intonation. So I had a lesson on intonation. Intonation is very, very important. Um, stress syllables, like if you have a two-syllable word versus a three-syllable word, okay? I have a lesson on stress syllables um, with rules that will help you with your intonation, uh, like the word, um, like two syllable words, the stress is almost always on the first word, uh, first syllable, bottle, water, table. Okay. Now, if you do three syllables, what's a three syllable word? Um, Fortify, fortify, fortify. Okay, hello, Trish. Oh, look, I have someone else online. I have someone else. Who is this? Let's see. Hi, Lena. Hi, I remember you. <laughs> how are you? I'm great, thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing okay. I'm I'm still tired from my Vietnam trip. I know. Welcome back to U.S. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for our viewers who might not have seen you last time you were on, can you tell everyone what your name is, where you live, what you do? Okay. My name is uh, Tran Ha. My first name is Tran. My oh. last name Ha. I'm from San Diego, and I'm a barber. I work on the marine base. That's right. So you're a barber working uh, on a marine base in San Diego. Correct. Yeah. And um, how long have you been in the U.S.? Uh, I think 25 years. 25 more years. More than that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think last, I don't remember because I talked to so many people, but just from hearing, you have very good pronunciation with the ending sound. 
Um, um, right. What did I tell you last time when we were I, talking? What what uh, issues did you have? Yeah, I think uh, I'm. I have a lazy pronunciation. That you uh, taught me about uh, the the yes the <laughs> that the and that. That's right. Because I heard it. Um, a lot of Vietnamese turn the th sound into a d sound. Mm -hmm. Right. They say this, that. Right. Duh. Right. right. Duh. It's very, very make me confuse it because, you know, I'm not born or grow up here. So right. my pronunciation is, is not that good. <laughs> yeah. Actually, your pronunciation is better than a lot of Vietnamese. Um, oh, really? Yeah. I hope yes, that it you is. understand me. <laughs> no, it's great. Your pronunciation is actually very good. Thank you, um, Lina. Yeah, so, but the, the TH sound is so difficult. Right? Yeah, something is, is very difficult for me to pronounce the, like, uh, you know, to work is the verb, but it's sometimes it's like between us, I, I, I'm sound like, look the same, drive and try. You know what I mean? Right, try well... And like dry. <laughs> right but but it it's it, you know why it's because you're not used to hearing it khi mà mình nghe mình nghe mà không có quen đó không có quen cái lỗ tai đó thì mình nghe nó giống như giống nhau nhưng mà thật sự is very different right giống như là khi mà người 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 Mỹ họ nghe tiếng Việt uh -huh, họ nghe nhiều chữ họ nói là it sounds the same but it's, right. it's not right. mình người Việt thì mình nghe mình mình nghe là mình phân biệt được right mình nghe can. mình phân biệt được nhưng mà khi mình phát âm mình không có trúng ừ. Lina hiểu không mình yeah. phân biệt lúc mà họ nói với mình đó mình phân biệt được nhưng mà lúc mình phát âm bài bài our the sound not not correct you know yeah. so uh, so say say drive drive and try try okay try try and drive drive yeah you it you sound great <laughs> <laughs> you know why is you you sound good because you're you're actually trying. Nhưng mà nhiều lúc khi mà mình nói chuyện đó mình không có pay attention. Right, nhiều khi mình nói nhanh quá đó cái mình 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 lose the sound, mình lose pronunciation. Yeah. You know. By by the way, if you don't mind. Yeah, of course. Okay, Go the ahead. word pronunciation. Pronunciation. No, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Oh, hold on. I'm going to write it down. And I'm going to put it on the screen so people can see it. Pro pronunciation. Right. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Right. The biggest mistake that a lot of Vietnamese is uh, they they say pronunciation. Right. Hoặc là they they confuse the two and they say pronunciation. Yeah. Yeah. Nhưng mà cái, cái, it's pronunciation. Yeah, pronunciation. There you go. T I O N at the end of a, a any word is shun. 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 Yeah, shun. Mm -hmm. Okay, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Yeah. Uh so but you just have to pay attention when when you say it. You cuz right. you can say it. <laughs> right, you can say it. Đâu phải là nói không được đâu. Nhưng mà nhưng mà tại vì nhiều lúc thì chị nói chị nói nhanh quá chị không có yeah. để ý đó phải không? Đúng yeah. rồi, đúng rồi, đúng rồi. Yeah. Đúng so rồi. Uh, yeah, but but cái yeah, lưỡi cái lưỡi bị cứng. <laughs> That's why you have to practice, right? <laughs> well, I work on base. I practice every day, but it's still. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but that's why your English is so good is because you you do use it every day. Thank you. I have yeah. no choice. I I, yeah. I I talk to all Americans. Yeah, I have no choice. <laughs> no like Vietnamese when, like there. When, like when you say the word choice. Yeah. yeah most Vietnamese say choi. Right? Really? They, they 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 let go of the ending sound. Right. And then when I come home and and I have no choice too. My I mean my kids at home is, is just speaking English to me. So sometimes I don't understand, but I learn a lot from them. Uh, good. Great. Okay. Well, it was nice to talk to you again. Me too. Nice to talk okay. to you. I love to hear you talking about a uh, Vietnam trip. 
Uh-huh. Like, yeah, last time, like the first time you came back from uh, live stream, right? I don't know. But yeah. I hear that you uh, you say like, không có tốn một cái gói mì gói. I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so glad. I love it. I love I'm glad. it. Thank you, Jay. We'll see you again next time. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lina. Mm-hmm. Have a nice Bye-bye. day. You thank too. You. Okay, I have another sweet young girl. I'm about Khan Lin, yeah? Okay, Bia, I'm going to talk to Khan Lin. Hello. Hi. My name is Lin. Your name is Lin. How old are you and where are you? Um, I'm from Vietnam. I'm 10 years old. Mm-hmm. Where in Vietnam? It's in Ho Chi Minh City. Okay. And how do we say the word thành phố? Mình nói sao? Do you know how to say uh, thành phố? Mình nói sao? City. City. See, like when, like you don't even know when you say Ho Chi Minh City. The word city is thành phố. Bởi vậy là Ho Chi Minh City là thành phố Ho Chi Minh, right? Huh? Yeah. I mean, the rest of us, we say we say Saigon. But anyway, city. city. So city is thành phố. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell me, what do you like to do? I like to read in books. I like to read books? Yeah. Okay. Say it. I like to read books. I like to read books. Yeah. Um, that is another mistake a lot of Vietnamese make is when they say reading. Okay. Is I like to read books. Reading is something that's present tense that you're doing right now. He's reading a book. Nếu mà mình đang đọc đó, mình mới nói là reading. Nếu mình thích đọc thì mình nói là I like to read. Yeah. Okay. So read, reading, đã đọc rồi thì nói sao em biết không? I read books. Right. I read a book. Read, reading, read. Okay. All right. Good job. Bye, Lynn. Good to meet you. Bye. Good to meet you. Thank you. Okay, I have another young person I'm going to bring on right now. Can An hay là đây coi. Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Who are you? Uh, I am Khan Nang. Mm-hmm. Uh, where are you right now, and how old are you? Uh, I am nine years old, and I am live in Ho Chi Minh City. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you say city? City. City. See, you sound very American when you say city. Right? What does city mean? Yeah. Uh, it means thành phố in Vietnam. Okay, very good. So city is thành phố. Um, and then, you know what I would like you to do? When you say I am, I want you to practice putting it together. I want you to say I'm. Okay. Say it. I'm. How old are you? I'm. Uh, I'm nine years old. There you go. See, I'm. So that's very conversational. Like if you want to talk to someone, normally you don't say, I am nine years. You say, I'm. So practice yes. saying that. So I'm going to ask you again. What's your name? How old are you? And where are you? Uh, my name is Khan Nang. I'm nine years old and I live in Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, very good. See, very, very good. It's nice to meet you. Bye, teacher. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roy, but you, but you, no, look, now, now my viewers are getting older. Okay, now my viewers are getting older. Hello, Andrew. I, I how how come I can't hear you? I can't hear you, Andrew. I I don't know. Okay, um, maybe you use uh, yeah. Maybe take that out. 
unplug it from your computer too. Oh, I still don't hear you. I don't hear you. So your pronunciation is perfect. <laughs> no, I still don't. I, yeah, no, I still don't hear you. Trời mm. ơi, tức quá tại vì nhìn thấy anh nó vui dễ sợ luôn, muốn nói chuyện dễ sợ mà không có nghe được, tức dễ sợ luôn đó. Um, on on your laptop là nó có cái setting đó. Có thể là anh anh vô cái, cái setting to make sure you have it all correct. Yeah. So just keep on trying and I'm going to I'm going to go to the next person and we'll come back to you, okay, Andrew? Okay. Uh, this is Kwa. Yes. Hi everyone. Hello sis. How are you? Welcome back to US. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, tell everyone who you are. Where are you? Hi, my name is Kwa Nguyen. Um I'm from Victorville, Southern California. Oh, okay. Victorville. You know where that is? Of course I know where that is. So that's It's on the way from Vegas. Yeah, that's about I I think maybe two and a half hours from me. Not that far. I guess you two, think hours, so? two hours without traffic. You know, there's always traffic in Los Angeles. Yes. Right. <laughs> uh so so what do you do for a living? I'm an interpreter. I I was the one who sent you the message last time to talking about medical things. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yay. So I did a lesson. I think it was lesson 15 or 16 about um I, I watched it. Yeah, about uh how to talk to your doctor. Right. Uh my husband is in healthcare and one of the biggest problems they have mm -hmm. are with patients who don't speak English well. Right. Um and and sometimes they they can't they can't tell the doctor what's wrong. They can't, they can't get the help that they need. So yeah. I did this lesson and Kwa was very, very nice to, to let me know that if you go to the doctor, you can actually ask for an interpreter. Is that mm -hmm. true? That's true. Regardless of insurance. Okay. So nếu mà, nếu mà quý vị đi bác sĩ mà mình, mình cảm thấy là mình không có là communicate cho nó chính xác được á. So what do you do? You just, Tell them you need a, an interpreter. Yes, you just call your insurance. Just tell them that I um, I don't speak English, and I need an interpreter. Okay. They have to arrange one for you. That's that's oh. just your right. Oh, very good. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, how long have you been in the U.S.? Um, I have been here like I think 13, 14 years. Yeah. And well, how old were you when you came to the U.S.? Uh, nineteen. I started to learn ABC uh, since the age of nineteen. You because, started learning English at nine. Yes, because French was my second language. English is oh. my third language. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Because my mom, she has no plan for me to, um, you know, go to the U.S. at all. Uh huh. But then at, at the age of 16, my dad, he passed away. Uh -huh. And my mom, she got married with this American guy. He's Vietnamese American anyway. And then here I am. And here you are. So wow. I started to, uh, you know, go into other school to uh, take the ESL classes. Uh -huh. For those of you who don't know, ESL means English as a second language. Yep. And then I started from ABC. Wow. Asian, yeah. I'm 34 wow. now. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's great because it's very, um, I mean, to learn a new language at, at 19 is not easy, uh, exactly. but you've done so well. That's amazing. Awesome. Not uh, uh, have you uh, have you lo have you looked at my channel before? Have you seen the other videos? Yes. All what of are them your videos. thoughts? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, what would you I say? Huge fan anyway, so. <laughs> what would you say was the most difficult thing for you in learning English? What's difficult for you? Um, grammar would be easy for me. Because, you know, I started with French grammar. Right. And French grammar is like much, much more difficult than English grammar. So um, uh, I think pronunciation uh, would be more difficult for me. Pronunciation? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I yes. think for most people, pronunciation is, is pretty difficult. You know, there are some words that I try to not say. Like what? <laughs> oh, I want to embarrass myself. <laughs> like... Uh, L literally literally yes literally 
because it's too hard for me to say like that der and the word sound, you know, it's just too hard. Literally. So I try not to say that word. Okay, but say I want to hear you say it. Literally. 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 Yeah. Literally. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound bad. I don't know why you avoid it. Uh, what's another word that you you don't like using? Uh, uh, can't remember right now. Um, uh, some words are not not difficult, but I just sometimes you know for, forget which syllable should I put the stress on. Oh, like, mm -hmm. like uh, necessary. Necessary. So sometimes, sometimes I say like necessary or necessary. So. Nest, no, you know, the yeah. first level or the second one. Right. So uh, the word necessary, okay, mm -hmm. necessary. Necessary. But when you change the word, so like necessarily, mm. not necessarily, right? That it gets kind of, the multisyllabic words can get a little tricky. Um, I do have a lesson on stress syllables because mm -hmm. there are rules there are rules that work with most English words. Um, but yeah, so uh, congratulations. I'm so glad that, I, that I, I'm very impressed that you started learning English at the age of 19 and you're an interpreter. That's wonderful. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the other thing I like about that is that you help people through that, right? Uh, some people have jobs where it's just a job. Mm -hmm. And then some people have jobs that also help people, like yeah. when you're in healthcare or uh, law or, you know, something where you're able to help others. I think that that can be very rewarding. So, yes, oh. that, 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 there was a time um, I met an old guy um, in the clinic and he, he brought a paper just like this. He brought a paper and here he said, like, um, yao net, sticky rice, sun swollen. So he, so he made the whole list of every word of the whole, you know, everything that he's going to ask doctor. Uh -huh. Aww. But, but then, you know, he saw me, he was so surprised. He said, what? Chú có thông dịch viên được hả? Nói, yeah, chú, chú có thể yêu cầu thông dịch viên anytime. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then I said, oh, it's good. So I don't need this. And I said, yeah, you don't need this too, because, you know, when you have this, when you ask, when you talk to a doctor, that's okay. But what would, you, what would you do? when the doctor talk to you, mm -hmm. right? You can answer him, but when you can, you know, talk to him, you can give him an answer, what, but when he responds to you, what right. would you do? How right. could you listen to that? How do you understand that? So you need an interpreter. Right, yeah, that's yeah. very important, especially when it has to deal with your health. So that's very important. That's so cool. very cool. Well, it's nice to see your face. <laughs> Thanks for your helpful comments. And I hope Thank to see you. you again, okay? Thank you, sis, sure. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye, sis. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. Uh, Andrew, are you there? Andrew, well, Andrew, oh, let's let's check in on Andrew. Okay. We're, look, he left. But I hear something, which means he fixed it. Như vậy là he fixed it, and then he left. I can hear it. Um, we'll have to We'll have to come back to, to him. For, I have to come back to him. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Um, okay. So I hope you found this lesson useful. Go back and listen to it. So uh, past tense. So the reason why, two reasons why it's very difficult for Vietnamese. One is that so many Vietnamese drop the ending sound. But past tense is all about the ending sound, right? So if you say the word jumped, but you don't want to put the end sound, jump, you're not going to make the right word. And there are so many words where the ending sound is so different, right? You, you have to, it changes the word if you don't hear the ending sound. Um... Like if you're going to say, I cry all night, okay? I cry all night. If you say that, that means you always do it. I cry all night. But if you want to tell someone that you cried all night last night, 
Okay. So you say, I cried all night. I'm tired today because I cried all night. You have to have that d. That's a, it's a d. Very light at the end, but you have to have it. Cried. Okay. Um, someone just asked, làm sao có thể chat được với chị? Uh, let me see. Well, we're almost out of time, but this is how, nha. Rồi, bây giờ Lina sẽ uh, đăng lại cái link. Rồi, cái link này đó là quý vị vào cái link, nhưng mà phải là turn off cái, uh, turn off cái YouTube so we don't have an echo. Okay, so there's, there's the link to get on. Also today, people brought up important things like stress syllable and intonation. So if you haven't, or even if you have, the important thing about learning English or any language is repetition. Okay? Every single day, if you can. So repetition is very, very important. And I'm going to post the link to what we talked about, which was our stress syllables. Here. Whoop, sorry guys, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So this I'm 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 um right here is a link to stress syllables. Even if you've already watched it, I think you need to watch it again and see if you get it right. See if it, if if you can do it correctly. Because intonation, the way we say a word, can actually change the meaning of the word. So it's important to to find that out. Okay, I have someone someone new here. Hien. Ready? Ready, Hien. Here we go. Hello. Hi, Chị. Um where are you and and um, uh, tell I'm me the, tell me I'm, I'm i'm from chicago uh-huh yes and uh and, um, how long have you been in the united states uh around 15 years more than 15 years yeah. yeah and what do you do over there i'm a nail tech oh okay yes um how long have you been learning english uh i have english in high school in vietnam oh yeah and um yeah and when i came here i uh took the um at first i took the um uh college and i dropped a college and i went to the english uh the esl yes for four years and after that, I don't know what I want to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I dropped the, the school and just uh, go to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. um, so I want you to practice one thing. And it's, this, it's a very common mistake that Vietnamese uh -huh. make. Like when you say the word the. Yeah. The. The. Say, the. The. the, the. 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 See, yeah. uh, you look at it. If we say it, we think it's a no, you know, it feels weird that you move your mouth that way. Uh -huh, yeah. you know, when you do that, you pronounce it perfectly. Yeah. Nói The. The. Yeah, see, so the. you can say it. Nhưng mà khi mà Hiền nói chuyện đó, yeah. you say the. No, no, no thành cái chữ đi. Uh -huh. The, that, the. this. Yeah. Okay. So just say the. The. That. That. This. 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 Yeah, remember the S at the end, yeah? yeah. This. This. This, yeah. See, yeah. so you can say it. Yeah. You know, you're so lazy. Yes. Stop I it with the lazy. <laughs> when, when I'm practicing, I can say it. Look like number three. Mm -hmm. But when I talk, I forgot. Yeah. And when I just say out loud, I thought, oh, I'm missing. I'm missing. Yeah. That. yeah. But yeah. but you should uh you should try. Mm -hmm. some people they don't care. Yeah. Không? Some yeah. people họ không có care họ. Nghĩa là họ nói người ta hiểu được là được rồi chứ họ uh -huh. không có care. And that's uh -huh. okay too. Yeah. Nhưng mà nếu mà mình muốn mình muốn mà mà tập luyện sao cho nó nó chính xác một chút đó. Uh -huh. Then just pay attention. Yeah. And you're lucky là tại vì 
you get to talk to people every day. Yes. Right? So yeah. you can talk to them every day. So practice your English mm -hmm. and just take a little time. Mm -hmm. you know, the. The. This. This. That. That. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. So when you pronounce it, you pronounce it perfectly. Yeah. But when you talk, not tan la, da, da, be this. Yeah. It's a very yeah. common <laughs> Vietnamese mistake. So try. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. good luck in Chicago. Say Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Say, say Chicago. Chicago. Shh. It's a SH sound, don't uh -huh. C H. Chicago. Chicago. No. Shh. 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 No. Shh. 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 No. Shh. 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 No. Shh. 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 Okay. Shh. Yeah. Shh. Okay. So. Chicago. Chicago. Shh. Shh. Ka. Ka. Go. Go. Chicago. 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 No. Chicago. 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 Người Việt mình hay nói là Chicago nha. Nhưng tại vì họ thấy cái chữ C H, cái từ Chi, Chicago. No. Chicago. 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 Okay. Thank you. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Chicago rồi. Bây giờ Andrew, Andrew sửa lại được chưa? Ủa? Mới đó được. You know what? Oh, no, no, here it is. I unmuted you. Rồi nói đi. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. All right. All right. Well, hi, okay. Lena. Hello, everybody. Tell us about yourself. Where are you and what do you do? My name's Andrew from Dallas. And uh, I work for the federal. Been here 30 years ish. Mm. 32 years to be exact. How old were you when you came to the U.S.? I was 20. You were? I was 20. I was 20. Wow. Your your English is very good. Uh, well, I've been staying with the uh, American. I stay in the dorm with the uh, students. Uh huh. And um, coming across, come in contact with them like daily basis. Right. And, That's um, great. That was years that I I hardly see Vietnamese. You know. Right. See, so, mấy người mà họ làm họ làm việc chung với người Mỹ nhiều hoặc là like I grew up in Minnesota, so all of my friends were người Mỹ. Uh, my high school, I yeah. was me and my brother the only Vietnamese, right? So, mà lúc đó là những là Mỹ đen cũng không có có nhiều. Đừng có nói là người Việt nữa. Then my high school, so so our English yeah. is better because we used it more. That's right. Right. We used mm -hmm. it more. Um, so you're like a perfect example, and I'm so impressed that you came here at 20 and your pronunciation is so good. Nhưng mà ngoài ra, ngoài cái pronunciation ra đó, you know what is so good is you have a great voice. Well, you know what? I quit smoking. Otherwise, my voice would have been like way deeper. Way really? Way deeper. Well, no, it's it's deep enough. Don't you don't <laughs> don't go back to smoking. Okay, I'm not gonna get back to Nhưng that. Cái smoking không phải là deep voice mà cái, cái smoking là cái nó càng là khác. Right, right, right. Right. So you, but you have a very full voice. So one thing, a lot of Vietnamese, uh, especially women, mm -hmm. uh, and I describe the voice as thin. Okay. Like they have a very thin voice, uh, and I don't know if nếu mà dịch qua tiếng Việt nó có make sense hay không. Là khi mà mình nghe cái giọng nó có vẻ nó rất là nó mỏng nó sao nó thin nó không có full it's not deep it's not full right right and you actually can change your voice you can change it a little bit and it's it's how um, you breathe it's how you talk right a lot of uh, Vietnamese women especially they have a very high voice. Yeah. And, and it's very thin. And then if you get nervous, and then the came and I can another ten you like no, you <laughs> have to you right, you have to be confident. Right, that's right. right. That's that's the thing that I think we are lacking up, you know, like most of us Vietnamese that we, we talk to, 
the American or when we talk to like uh, other foreigner, once we don't have the confidence, the voice becomes like kind of echoes or I don't know how to describe that, but uh, yeah, you so you have to be confident. Yeah, and and the thing about it is, even if your English is not perfect, right? Okay, even if you have an accent, mm -hmm. it's okay. But speak with confidence. Nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, actually. Nothing. Bởi vậy những người mà họ, uh, like when you see someone talking, tại sao? À, mình, mình nghe người này nói, mình, mình thích nghe right. Còn người khác Mình nghe mình cứ có vẻ mà, we, You really don't want to, I don't care what he has to say I don't want to hear him, right? Exactly. <laughs> so it's the way you talk So you, everyone needs to just slow down a little bit Right Right. Concentrate on pushing it out there okay. Because I can I can do the other voice yeah? But mình nói chuyện rồi tự nhiên cái, cái giọng nói nó thành như vậy No, just I can do that. You do pretty good at that. <laughs> right? But it's better just slow down. And yeah. everyone can do it. Everyone can change a little bit the quality of your voice. Right. Yeah. And then if you just speak with some confidence. Mình không có cần là phải nói chuyện with no accent. Nhưng mà phải tự tin. And And if... When that comes across, it really doesn't matter how you're saying your words, right? But the idea comes across. And then people, I think people respect more when they hear from people who are confident. Yeah. They kind of, people that work with me, indeed, that they, they really like, in a way, they like kind of like my accent. Mm -hmm. like, you got a very cool accent, I would say. And you, you, you eat fish sauce and nước mắm, and you got that kind of accent, you know? <laughs> it's funny. I can hear I can hear a little bit of the Texas in your accent when you talk. Yes. <laughs> like, well, that's where I'm from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you for not saying Dallas, Texas. For some reason, whenever Vietnamese say they're from Dallas, they always say, I'm from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> uh, they always put it. Everyone knows where Dallas is. <laughs> like Houston, Houston, Texas. Why? Well, there are actually five city of Dallas here in the U.S. That in I think from uh, uh, Georgia, Kansas, and I'm not sure from Chicago with uh, with a small town, but there's there's five of them. So mm -hmm. it kind of surprised me. Oh, really? Yeah, I've I've never heard of the other ones. <laughs> But most of the time, if I see a Vietnamese and they're from Dallas, I'm pretty sure they're from Dallas, Texas. Texas. Gotta be Texas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I'm so glad that you were able to get your microphone to work. Uh, Likewise. <laughs> you, you have a wonderful voice. Um, Thank you. And, and you just, I, I, I love it. You've got great pronunciation. I love this way you sound. I love, like your personality comes out in your voice. It's well, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Are you single? I'm uh, Mary. I'm proud you're father. <laughs> uh, you're a grandfather? No, I'm a proud father. Oh, oh you're a proud father. Okay. Uh, do you have any kids? No, no, I'm not. Look, you and I have the same age. Oh, we're the same I'm age. Not, yeah, I'm not getting there yet. <laughs> I'm not oh, getting okay. <laughs> well, you know, when yeah. I went back to Vietnam, people our age are already grandparents. Indeed, yes. Uh, right. You, you compare with that, some of that uh, Hispanics, like Mexican mostly. Right. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm. I want to wait. <laughs> oh wait. yeah, same here. <laughs> I just want to wait. <laughs> All right, Andrew. So nice to meet you. I hope to see you again on another broadcast. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Okay. Bye, Andrew. Bye, bye. Oh, we we talked to some really fun people. Yes, yeah, so uh, so his grammar was also good. So, you know, he works for the federal government, right? And like he has to use his English every day. Okay, that was fun. So I hope you enjoyed the the lesson. Remember, past tense verbs. Don't drop that ending sound. It's so important. Don't drop it. People will still understand you, but it's not right. 
Okay. So, and I, for instance, I always strive to be correct. Always strive to be right. Like, why not? Like, if you can be, why wouldn't you want to be? I know I read some comments where people, they get very offended. They get very offended that I'm trying to correct pronunciation. And it's very simple. This channel is to help you with better English pronunciation. If you don't want to learn better English pronunciation, don't watch my channel, right? Um, and again, like I just said with Andrew, there's nothing wrong with an accent. Not at all. Nothing wrong with an accent. There's also nothing wrong with wanting to make your English better. Learning correct pronunciation. There's nothing wrong with that either. Okay. Mwah. Michael. Our, our moderator, Michael, thank you for being a great mod. And before we go, we have to, we got to play that music. It's called Into Space. Okay, Into Space. Relax a little bit. We went a little bit over, a little over time today. But that was fun talking to everybody. That's my favorite spot right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. We'll see you again, hopefully, Wednesday night. Two more nights. If you have suggestions on what kind of lessons you would like, all right, let me know in comments. If you want a lesson on, I don't know, whatever it is, let me know. What do you want to learn about? So have a good one, everybody. I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> okay, bye. Mwah. See you next time.